Hello and welcome back to this video where we are now going to be looking at uh, using masking within our material. So I'm inside the textures folder here and I've, I've deleted this uh, material okay, from the floor. So inside the textures I'm going to right click, I'm going to choose import and I want to go ahead and bring in this uh, image I've created here, it's called, just called uh, PBR for physically based rendering. And if I open this up you can see it's just a bunch of text. So let's go back to materials. I'm going to right click and choose um, new material. Let's choose M underscore masking underscore mat. And let's open that. And uh, before we get into this, let's just jump back to textures. And if I open up the texture here, okay, you can see that we have a RGB. So if I choose red, green and blue turn them off you see we have zero but if we also look under alpha you see i also have an alpha channel this time so let's just turn the alpha off and turn these colors back on and close this and let's bring this in here so the effect we're going to be going for here is having this text okay on uh, uh just how to deal with having a text on here so if we click and put this into the into the base color you see that we actually have physically based material on on the uh, material here now if we wanted to mask this off here's what we need to do we need to click in the graph or on this uh, default node here and under the um, blend mode we need to change it from opaque to masking so if we do this, you see that this option now becomes available for our opacity mask. So if we click the alpha channel and choose opacity mask, you can see that we only get the physically based uh, rendering. Okay. So we can look around and we can see that there's uh, nothing there. So this is just one way of uh, building a material that says just has uh, something like this, like text, floating text. Okay, so let's um, go preview this before we move on. So let's go to starter content. Let's see, do I have, do I have to stack a plane? Okay, so something, let's see. Yeah, so this will do. So if we click and drag this into the level, and pull this up and I'm going to press this space bar to rotate this round okay and let's just minimize this let's go back to my materials and uh, get rid of the text and the filters here otherwise the material will not show and we click drag this inside the material you can see that even though it's the wrong way round there we go you see we have this select this here and uh, rotate let's see there we go so now you see we have this physically based um rendering uh all masked away so let's uh let's build on this a little bit so let's pull this down something like this there we go so let's open up the material okay so we have um the uh, physically based rendering nice and floating you know sort of in the middle of nowhere but how can we use this in uh, a more interesting way so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna drag in our uh, wood material and i'm going to break these there we go and i'm gonna set the blending mode back to opaque and we're gonna use a new node here so we're going to use a node called linear interpolate so the shortcut to get to that is to press and hold the l key and bring up bring in the linear interpolate and again obviously we can go in here and type in you know linear interpolate and uh, bring that up so here's what we do we're going to linear interpolate between a or value a and value b there we go and if we plug this into diffuse you see that this essentially adds them both but we want to do that based on the mask here. So what we now have is a physically based rendering that is now overlaid on top of 
um, this wood. So this is a nice neat way of uh, combining uh, some materials like this. So we can apply these. And uh, we could apply that on top of here. Now, if we also wanted to, um, we could add that null map in here. So let's bring the null map in. And you can see that not only does the uh, the default wood uh, material get that, but also the uh, text. So now you see we have uh, the text over the top of of the uh, wood here. So this is just uh, a different way of using those uh, masking capabilities. We could use this, for instance, if uh, we wanted to add um, metallic or metal to uh, the physically based rendering. So we could we could go ahead and do that if we'd like. We could go and do a linear template. So we can copy and paste. Okay. And um, we could say have um, one, if we plug this uh, zero, remember, into metallic. And let's just uh, detach these for a minute. Okay. And we set this to one. Oh, actually, let's plug this into let's let's plug this into roughness instead. So let's do this. Just break. And choose zero. So now we have a very shiny, um, or very reflective surface. And we copy that and paste this. And say we set this to zero. Uh, sorry, set this to one. Let's break this link. Okay, so say we wait the physically based uh, rendering to be very shiny and then the wood uh, not to be. So uh, let's choose about 0.2 in this case. And then we plug this in A because if we look up here, um, the uh, texture sample for the wood is in A and the um, physically based uh, rendering is in B, and then we put the alpha also into the alpha of uh, this texture and then we put this into roughness okay and uh, actually we need to swap these about so let's do this here and this here there we go or maybe we should just play around play around with these values okay let's see yeah, we just plug this into A, this into B, so it was right the first time. And then if we plug this back in here, you can see the difference we get here. So we're getting a difference in the materials we could, if we'd like to plug this into metallic. Okay. So you can really see that how, see how we can use this you know, to create a nice, uh, cool effect there. So let's save this. And let's preview this on here. So let's drag this back in here. There we go, like update. So we can see the uh, difference that we actually have here in terms of the material. So there we go. So thank you for watching and um, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.